five, four, three, two. What up, y'all? Welcome to Here's the Thing. I'm Kevin Stan. She's that chick AJ. Welcome to another podcast banger, episode. Banger, smash banger, that like button. Banger, smash banger, that notification banger, button. Banger, 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 banger all bow, bow, 2021. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, 2021. Give it up for Angel. That chick. Give it up for Angel. That chick. I didn't even know that Patreon was already in here. Oh, Patreon right. been in here. What's up? Patreon, let me let you know. Houston this weekend just about sold out. H time. It is sold uh, out. Just about sold out. Sunday is the only time there's any shows. The next week, though, Palm Beach in Miami. Oh, please. Woo! We're handing tickets out. First come, Woo! first serve. You talk about tickets available. <laughs> you talk about seats. Is the seats have several Humbling, seats. humbling, <laughs> humbling numbers in Palm Beach. Humbling what? numbers and so humble. So humble over there. I don't know. It's humble Texas. It's humble pie. It's so humble, so humble that uh, crossing it off a future list. No, well, if things don't change, never coming back. Oh, Palm Beach. God bless you, Miami. I'll come for a grouper in a bag, and if I go on a cruise, <laughs> but performance wise, and I've taken cities off before. Oh. Buffalo, New York, last year. Get him out of oh, here. This is Stank Town. Syracuse. Oh, you're not hot in northern Whoa. northern uh northern that, New, York? New York? Yeah. Not popping. Okay. okay. Buffalo and Syracuse were like, huh. Mm. Good luck, Bucko. <laughs> uh <laughs> And I it, listen, it's okay. I'm, I'm not hurt. You know, sobering realizations. Mm -hmm. uh, it is that. What else is sobering? The milk crate Armageddon. Listen. Okay. Mm. Something happened over the last week. I don't know. I, I don't know what happened. That's I think it crazy. was the Olympics. I think we were on. The hood was on Olympic withdrawals. Mm. Somebody had a plethora. Of, of milk, milk crates. crates. Me and, we were talking about this, me, you, and Josh, on the one of the uh, rides to the airport. I don't think I've seen more than a milk crate or two at any point in my life. Right. Like, I can think of it maybe in school, maybe seeing milk crates, because, like, they would. No, no. Not outside, many. Outside of DJ crates. That, outside that, of DJ that, crates. That hold vinyl. But that's usually what But nobody's for? moving. No DJs are moving with vinyl like that anymore. Yeah, so but even then, they didn't have stackable no. like that many. No, Maybe they, they had like house. You can stack them with the, with, the, with the vinyl in it. Yeah. The vinyl protrudes. Now, in my day, we planked. That was a challenge. Oh, I remember. It was no, yeah. One of my friends played yeah. on the 405. Yeah. Wait, yeah. down the 405? Yeah, she wasn't very wise. She, oh, actually got a, she actually almost got arrested for doing that. Well, yeah. You know, we did safe things. Mm -hmm. Silly, but safe. We just lay down. The angel did hers. I did. I did. Mm -hmm. I uh, happened to have a milk crate at my house. The people who used to clean my old house left it there by accident. Oh, you already had one on deck. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they used to bring the cleaning products in. Mm -hmm. They left it. By law, it's now mine. And so I was like, I can do this. But even still, that milk crate was like, you talk to me in a soft voice. You whisper sweet nothings to me. Because first of all, milk crate, this, first of all, this challenge is very fat phobic. Okay, because milk crates hold a gallon of milk, not two gallons of milk, a dump truck, and some yams. Because I had to test it out first. I said, now let's see here. This is. I think we're over the weight capacity. Two gallons of milk, a dump truck, and some yams? That, that's not what milk crates are supposed to hold. I saw it give. I saw the thing started to, like, sag, and it was like, mm, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I said, all right, we're going to do this once and one time only. This is the one of the times where I'm like, you know what? I'm going to leave this to other people. Because I usually, no. ALS challenge, I, ice bucket challenge, planking, uh, do the Harlem Shake. I jump on all of them, except the cinnamon one. The cinnamon, I was like, no, oh, I'm yeah, not going to be spitting cinnamon. That you didn't do it. But these people were climbing, you know, six, seven crates high. Yeah. And falling violently. <laughs> and landing on the crate. Yeah. This yeah. single-handedly brought the streets together, though. Ah. Oh, the I unison. See. I saw they were spotting each other in the hood. And yeah. then there was some, there was a, a child, uh, 
spawn of evil oh. who kicked the crate. Yes. The, the middle crate of the dude was at the top. Oh, Mar would have done that. Oh, uh, Mar w- saw that video <laughs> and he was like, this challenge may not be a thing when I'm able to kick something. <laughs> but when I turn 10, I'm, I'm inflicting violence. Oh, yeah. Like that child. He kicked the crate so hard. <laughs> he kicked it so. What in your mind says? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because this person's likely to fall anyway. Right. The child was thinking, you're stupid. <laughs> and I'm going to show you how stupid you are. There was a black woman. The two that I saw that were done well, a dude rolled a blunt <laughs> mid walk up. And I'm, I'm going to be honest. It was hella sexy. It, <laughs> it, I saw a meme where they put it him. Was, on the on the first place podium no, at the Olympics, no. and he was just like a, I'm telling you, that's a, that Baltimore angle. Oh yeah, the that younger Baltimore. version of myself would have been like, you have so much potential to walk <laughs> into my heart and walk right out the way you did those crates. I would love to know if we could do this together. <laughs> No, and people are always trying to one up. They always trying to one up and make it more difficult. It's already difficult to accomplish it. Yes. And people are like the women doing it in heels. That's like, what I was gonna say. That's the next person. The black woman with the hair, with the uh, the baseball cap. Oh yeah, they're, they're like, let's do it in heels. For why? Por 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 qué? Por qué? Por qué? Why are we doing this? Next, they're gonna be like. Get Jimmy from down the block, the one with one leg. We're going to have him pogo <laughs> stick brother. up the thing. Then we're going to throw dodgeballs at him. He going to duck. Then he going to hobble back down. to the, Like, why are we making this more difficult than what it already is? I've seen people do it on concrete. I saw a Mexican dude. He looked Mexican. They put shouting music under him. He did it, and he was shaking. And then when he fell off, he landed face first <laughs> oh, into the concrete. Jesus. I seen a dude, he had a picture of his back, and it looked like he got hit with a sledgehammer. Because mm. that is what a milk crate's about, what, a foot or so? Yeah, a little bit over a foot. A little bit over. So you're seven feet yeah. in the air, mm-hmm. or five, six feet in the air. If you Most people fall from the middle. Yeah. You're falling six, seven feet to the ground. Or landing on a milk crate and then hitting the ground. I was like, the commonality between these people is not that they're black, is that they have jobs and not careers. <laughs> I was like, because if you have a career that you enjoy, you're going to be like, let me just pause on this because that could all be over. Yes. But a job that you don't want to go to anyways, you're like, best case scenario, <laughs> I hurt myself and I can't come in. I've seen some people doing it in jail. First of all, lots oh of people in jail have God. cell phones. I, I was oh, going to yeah. send that to how you, too. So, how are they charging them? I mean, they got outlets, Kev. What do you mean? They don't have they power have outlets? outlets? What? I, I, I never, don't I, think they just have easy access to outlets. No telling what they're doing. Well, they do even having TVs in some of their cells. Mm-hmm. And one I saw in jail, they had like seven people had phones. Yeah, I can believe it. And now in jail, that makes sense. That jail, you got a lot of time. Plenty of you time. You know, like there's the uh, even though healthcare sucks in there, it's free healthcare. Yeah, sure. Um, Honestly, not a bad, not a bad gig. Give you free <laughs> meals on time <laughs> every a, day. Not a bad gig. Not a bad, not a bad, not a bad gig. I can understand people doing it in jail or in prison, but out here in these regular streets, I'm like, mm mm. Somebody on Patreon said I'd be on prison TikTok all the time. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Prison TikTok. I didn't how do you think they found this video, Kev? Prison TikTok I is, a, is a sub Prison Twitter. Come on, man. I just recently found Churchy TikTok, which is great. It's a whole bunch of musicians posting great praise breaks. Oh. And I was like, this is my tribe. Oh, you. But you know how TikTok is. You watch two, three videos of one kind. They'd be Your like, here's every video every, ever made every, with this song every, or every, this every. type From of thing. 2008, Please. you're like, you guys weren't here in 2008. Josh, <laughs> let me tell you, I was on I was on TikTok one time. I couldn't sleep. And I was on there for like two hours. Oh, God. I scrolled so <laughs> long. Because, you know, after maybe five, six scrolls, it'll get a sponsored post, right? About an hour and a half in, I got a sponsored post from TikTok. Literally, that was like, hey, you've been scrolling for a while. Oh, no. You might want to take a break. Rest your eyes. Get some food. Use the bathroom. And come back later. And I was like, first of all. I'm a grown man. I will do that. Because the (laughs) fact that I've been on your app so long that you are telling me that it's enough. They said it's enough. And I just was like, (laughs) it's more, more challenges, more singing. get into it like that. Oh, I love it. It gives you so many different creators. 
the, the, it, for me, it just keeps showing me so much of the same thing. I'd be uh, like, I'm tired of this. If I hear the same sound again. Oh, man. There was a, oh, man. There was a. Bing, bang, bang. Bing, bang, bang, bang. The one. Oh, yeah. Bing, bang, bang, bang. I can be, there was a time when I was listening to this one video. Anybody who made it. Uh, oh, come on. Anybody who made this video, I watched it. Hold on. It was the singers. Um, they were building harmonies on top of this. Oh, please. And I watched every single one. I'm trying to find you one of the ones that I know is good. So you don't think it's dumb. No, I might think it's dumb. You won't do one TikTok with no, me. I we're going to do, do it this weekend in Houston. No, with LM. Not. With no, L. Well, no, with Little Marcus. This is it. This is it. Sorry, you almost went with it. <laughs> I was like, ah, no. I could be violet sky. I could be purple. I could be purple. I could be anything you like. I could be brown. I could be blue. I could be violet sky. I could it's be these purple. People, they're, I could they're, be purple. They're building I could comedies. be anything you like. I could be brown. He's I could up be to blue. I could be violet sky. I could be purple. I could be purple. I could be anything you like. I could be brown. I could be blue. I could be violet sky. I could be purple. I could be purple. I could be anything you like. I could be brown. I could be blue. I could be violet sky. I could be anything you like. I can be brown, I can, I can be, be blue, blue, I can be violet, sky. Okay. Every is, okay. person on TikTok who made that video when we were in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Is that me? That's God you. dang. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Every person, Angel, when we had that New Brunswick show, I was just like, I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet, sky. TikTok was like, we have plenty of. We have more. I went to the artist. His name is Amika. It's a song called Grace Kelly. I watched him. I watched his live performances of it. I was like, I'm enthralled with this. Why I, so enthralled? I don't know. TikTok just allows me to be enthralled. I see a lot. And also, we've talked about this before. A lot of dark humor on the talk. They don't oh. ever send me the dark humor. It's stuff. the darkest you know. platform. Whoa. It's darker than Twitter. Way really? darker. Oh, my God. Because there's no think pieces and there's no shaming. That's where I saw uh. the uh, Kabul Airport videos first. Oh, was it? Yes. Oh, on TikTok. Like, unapologetically, I was like, that's happening. I am done with this app Man. for the next 48 hours. TikTok t has taken so many of my videos down. Uh, why, for, why are they taking them down? They, uh, dangerous Nudity, acts. Um, but it'd be videos I find on TikTok, and then I react to them, and then they take my video down, but they leave. They said, because you know better. Mm -hmm. Maybe. You are, you're almost 40. They're that's like, come on, sir. Hand. They're like, I, Dang, I am almost 40. Yes, Kevin. Oh, Jesus. You are less than two years away. Wow, Kev, okay, that's crazy. You're, You're almost 30. I said not 40. Yeah, ain't he's 40. like, oh, well, I'm going to tell you what I ain't. <laughs> You're 28, ain't you, Joshy? Mm -hmm. You've mm -hmm. known me for a long time, Kevin. I, I knew you when you was 20 years, two years old. You couldn't grow a mustache. I could not. You're like, you Kevin, couldn't grow you, a beard. Can you pick me up? When you knew him. And I picked him up. I put him on my lap. I said, I said, come on, burp. And he said, I, I know how to walk. <laughs> 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 How has your you all's relationship evolved? Well, no matter what, we've I've never been able to eclipse Amir. Oh, but we're not. And doing Amir this. is your age, right? Or a little Amir bit older. is a little older. He's a little he's older. Maybe 42, 43? I believe so. Okay. So Josh started off as an intern, one of the interns at All Deaf. He was maybe. one of the first people that was there. At ad. To be I fair, asked him Amir to get was my the first lunch. person to have a conversation with me. Yeah, so I was probably second. Him, yeah. Or third. And I said, hey, intern, can you grab my lunch? Josh. Like, <laughs> and he's like, I don't I do that. Like, and I, was like, I was like, hey, uh, Kevin? <laughs> he was like, uh, I don't, I, don't do I did that at Awesomeness. I don't, you know. He really told I'm, me no. I'm trying, to, like, I'm trying to grow. He told you He no. told me no. I was like, he said, I don't do that anymore. I was like, ah. I oh literally said gosh. it like this, she Angel. So you clutched your pearl. I was like. I literally said it like this. So I was like, I did that at awesomeness. So I was like, ah. <laughs> and the lunch place was like across the street. It was place called not Jerry. across the street. Jerry's was across the street. It was not from Jerry's. You it were was not, from you, Jerry's. You were not trying to get Jerry's in that moment. So when I wrote a little notepad. I was like, this kid's not going to make it. No. <laughs> it was him, Dez, and Pat were the three interns. And Jade. Uh, who? Jade. Oh, and Jade. Mm -hmm. And Jade. They were the four interns. Mm. Uh, and then I believe Josh went to the music team. Pat came with me. Dez came with me. Jade went to the music team. And then uh, he ended up running the poetry channel for a while. You ran the poetry mm -hmm. channel? That's was actually poet? what got me hired. Yeah. And guess who gave him that? 
Guess who gave him that? Hmm? Uh, was it a mirror? Was it blame the label? Or was it me? Who made sure he had food on his table? Arroz con pollo, frijoles. <laughs> was it you? It was me. Why'd you do it for? Because he was great. He was a fantastic intern. Great employee. <laughs> so you did it for yourself. I got Trevor Wallace me? his That's job. That's what you're saying. If you're saying. If he's saying you did a good job, you did it for yourself. I did what oh, I yeah. could. He was you great. Did, you did it for himself. Josh was a good actor too. He was good. Josh was good. Did you be acting? Josh oh, can yeah. do nah. so many things well. Wow. It's almost really frustrating. Solid basketball player. What? Josh <laughs> Jumper is solid. We used to hoop a little bit at all death. Solid. You've seen his golf stuff. Mm. He can DJ. Que guapo. Yep, very. Muy. Que, Muy mucho. Que guapo. Si. He can drive a car. It, uh, or not uh, drive the car. He actually drives itself for time. Yeah. <laughs> we time. were just lit- literally talking. I was like, Josh, why is it so hard for you? To accept how successful you are at this age. Oh, I hate, I hate this conversation. And no, we had a this great a conversation about it, and I was like, uh, "Do you talk about your ther- talk to your therapist about this mm-hmm. at talk space?" And I do. And he was like, talkspace. "I do, I do all the time." And I was like, "That's so good because I want you to live in your full shine. You live know what in I'm your shine, baby. Because it's only gonna make other people want to shine brighter as well. So sometimes you need to talk about something that you might not have thought was a big deal. Yeah. And then you realize it's more has more damaging effects than what you thought. Mm-hmm. And you should have sought help sooner. But you know what? Talk space is here right now, right here for you. Mm. Um, you know, it. we are a very close-knit friendship. Mm, but yeah. even in that closeness, we need professionals to talk to we sometimes. Do. You know we what do. I'm saying? And talk space is that space where we're able to get timely, professional conversations with licensed therapists wherever we are doesn't matter where we at on tour doesn't matter if we're at home we're able to get on talk space and get the support that we need whether you're a parent a student a millennial just someone having a hard day talk space can provide the support to help you feel better with a single message talk space talk space offers individual and couples therapy in addition to medication prescription services whether you're experiencing depression, anxiety, or other problems, Talkspace is the number one online therapy platform to help you sort out any issues. Thousands of licensed therapists are available for you to match with. Talkspace therapists are experts in a dozen or dozens of specialties, including anxiety, depression, relationship, and more to help you start feeling better. Start feeling better with a single message. Match with a licensed therapist when you go to Talkspace.com and get $100 off your first month with the promo code CREW. CREW. That's K-R-E-W. That's $100 off when you use the code CREW. CREW. At Talkspace.com. Talkspace.com. Moving yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Moving on. Uh, Great timing. Our man. girl, Shakari. Oh, man. They took down the video link that you tried to send. They did? Yeah, they said you ain't going to get to watch it. Well, listen, Shakari, our dear, dear friend, mm. um, I, you know, friend of the pod, she, you know, the Diamond League is like the professional track circuit, if you guys aren't familiar and it's what she was preparing for after she was uh, disqualified from the Olympics. Mm-hmm. And uh, boy, they got out and did the 100 meter dash. Mm-hmm. And uh, let me tell you what. The Jamaican women, they, they run track. They yeah. Jamaica run. has always produced top sprinters. If you remember the movie Cool Runnings. They were Jamaican sprinters. I can't stand Kay? it. She said, if you remember the movie. Cool running. Some people say, you know, they can't believe. Jamaica, we got a bobsled team. We got the one Doris and the one junior. You. Sanka, the fastest of the fastest of Jamaican sprinters. Go to the Olympics. Fight for Jamaica. Okay. Four by one team. Don't let you be in there by yourself. They Go mishandled <laughs> the baton. But they won at the Olympics, so they learned how to bobsled. Uh huh. Anyway, that was twenty some odd years ago. Yes, it was okay? it just twenty years ago? Feels like it's even longer. It, it was probably longer. Mm-hmm. Usain Bolt dominated after Michael Johnson dominated. Usain Bolt was like two Olympics, maybe even three, but at least yeah. two, where he was breaking world records in the hundred and the two hundred. Uh huh. The U.S. and Jamaica always go back and forth for the hundred to two hundred four by one. Uh. This Olympics, it was Elaine Thompson-Hurrah, I believe, Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, and then another person. Mm-hmm. 
Before Shakira even went to the Olympics, uh, Jamaican Twitter was like, your girl doesn't stand a chance against these women. Mm-hmm. Their, her, their top time, her top time would get her fourth. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's why I want to see her run. I was like, maybe she'll get pushed mm-hmm. to be faster, but she was disqualified. Anyway, the Diamond League starts back up again. And uh, whew, our girl, friend of the pod. Friend of the pod. She did not win. No. She did not place. She was ninth. She she placed at the end. She, she had a place. She was in the race. So you always place if you're in the race. It just, hey, out of both she came. Hey. Come on. Sometimes come you on. just got to run your own. Yeah. yeah. She was in the finals, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. She was in the finals. Uh, but she got ninth and um, <clears throat> was promptly torn down on Twitter. Yeah, they just murdered just, the baby girl. And the thing that, I mean, it doesn't really surprise me, but every time I be I'd be surprised. We was just building her up. I I thought. I tell you. I mean, last month we yeah. was like, we went. I'm gonna stick beside you. It was the, what was the Olympics in July? Was yes. it? Ho- it wasn't in August too. No, I feel like it was in August too. Was it all this month? Yes, it was this month. Yeah, was, the Olympics was this month. Mm-hmm. It had to be. Yeah, it's usually the first week of August. Yes, it wasn't even. A we month was building ago. her up this month. We set her up like a volleyball. Uh, like a <laughs> they just to spike her down on the other side of the net. And the thing that was interesting is people were the people who were tearing her down. Now there's two camps. I want to know the, what the camps are because here's I'm confused. The there's the Everybody gets jokes camp. Mm-hmm. And that I understand. Mm-hmm. It's all jokes. Yeah. You know, Twitter, nobody is sacred. No, nothing is sacred. If Beyonce fell down the stairs, she would get joked on. Mm-hmm. But in that, I understand. Right? I'm going to place those people in this bucket. Then it was like the T Grizzly camp. And that's the, these people prayed on my downfall. Mm-hmm. It was like a group of people were just so happy she fell. Mm-hmm. It was like they relished her loss. Just, yes, this is what you get. How And then she, in her lost interview, she was like, I'm still here. I'm going to be, you know, whatever y'all haters going to hate. And they just were like, ah, you're a loser. You're ninth place. And I was like, well, that's, what is it? Why are you upset that she's. I, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because people are like, well, now that humbled her, what did she need to be humbled for? Mm. I do, oh, that's what I don't understand. Like, and to <laughs> compete in those type of sports, like track, boxing, those are, those are individual sports. Yes. You cannot, basketball that I played, a lot of blame. <laughs> the coach, the team, the yes. refs, plenty of people. Yeah. They didn't pass me the ball. Anything. Track. It's you, baby. Yeah, it's all just you. you. It's an individual spot. So, in order to compete at that level, you have to have that confidence. Oh, you've got to be cocky, even if you can't back it up every single time. Right. You even if you can't. You got you got to believe it. Yes, absolutely. Because you know you get on there, you see in Lane Thompson and Ross <laughs> time. Right. You might have on lead boots that day, but right. you better talk like you Hercules. Like, you know how crazy it is, right? In track, you know these people's times. Yeah. So to get up and put your head down and line up with a person that you know has run faster than you've ever run. Yeah. And you be and you got to be like, nah, today though. Yes. And like the thing about track that goes through my mind. Mm-hmm. You are running as fast as you can. As fast as you can. And the people are running faster. I know about 40, 50 meters. She's like, ah. Let me tell you something. Kevin, Dwayne, <laughs> Ursula Fredericks. <laughs> Not Ursula. Yes. If I, if they were like, Angel, we got a wild card spot. We putting you down here with these Olympians. I am going to talk so much as <laughs> S-H-I-T. You understand? Right now, the day you still want to talk? Today, 41, four kids out my womb. <laughs> Mortgage paid every month. On time. On time. Talk to him, I am going to be at that starting line. The interview before. I don't even know why these women showed up. I don't even know why they showed up. They might as well go home. They might as well unglue their lace fronts because I'm about to snatch them off. That's going to be me in the shorts doing the jump. <laughs> You're going to do the, the knee thing oh, yeah. to get warmed up. I'm going to get in the blocks. Do I know how to come out of them? Nope. I'm going to talk all of it as I am Cash still, crazy? Cash crazy, Kevin. Still coming out the blocks while they're going across the finish line. <laughs> still You're going to be putting it. Which pat, one? Pat, 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 pat. <laughs> That's going to be me. Pat, 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 pat. With the nerve to point at the audience as I cross the finish line. <laughs> they putting their hoodies and stuff on. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and you at that point you still got a dip at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Angel Tanks leave a hundred meter dash at one minute thirty six yes! seconds. I'll be like, "Where's the flag? I don't even mess with the flag like that." But y'all better give it to me so I can walk around the track with it. <laughs> yeah, you better not walk around the track when you done ran a minute. Yes, walk around the track. Hey, four one zero up in here. Eight five nine. Eight one eight represent. That's gonna be me. You live, you rattling <laughs> off your area code? All of them. <laughs> Lil Bill, Lexington, stand up. I did it for the ton. Next time I did Valley. it for y'all. <laughs> All of them. Mocha Mom, stand up. 100%. Mama likes, where y'all at? <laughs> Shot Mama, that's the flag. Shot Mama likes. <laughs> New Olympic box <laughs> dropping. <laughs> With my bonnet and robe on. That's Angel what I'm running in. the first heat. Man, this wasn't the finals. This was your heat. I don't care what it was. <laughs> I'm walking around the track. Yes. Give me my medals. Listen. She, now she did talk a lot. Mm -hmm. She talked a lot. Mm -hmm. But she owned it when she lost. Yeah. Like she was like, I'm about to show the world. I'm about to sh you know, shake the world. You know what I'm saying? Then when she lost, she was like, God, you know what I'm saying? I'm still <laughs> out here. Still out here. I think she had on way too much hair. That when I was watching, her down. it did. That created a lot of drag. Yeah. I was like, whoo, that got bundles upon bundles. They could have taken out like four or five wefts. <laughs> and that would have been probably. Not wefts. She would have probably only hit seventh, but it still would have helped her. And she was, she's not traditionally a great starter, but she has some. She had good closing speed. Mm -hmm. And then the people who won, they, they're good at all, all phases of the race. I'm curious to see what. Like what her bounce back is, because I listen. I like a confident, cocky black woman. I love it. Mm -hmm. I mean, talk your talk crazy. Mm -hmm. Four one zero. No. I'm telling all of a one eight three two three Orange oh. County. I live there nine four nine. All of it. Before we get to our next uh, story, I wanted to update you guys on our last show. Uh, it was my first time talking about uh, sex. And uh, using the N word with my grandmother and father and mother and aunt in mm -hmm. tow. Um, Angel was there. I, oh, yes, I was. And she sat with my parents. I surely did. I wanted to get a. I wanted to see them. I wasn't even listening to you. I was looking at them the whole time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Uh, the thing that was funny about it, I was nervous the whole day. For my parents coming. They came on the Sunday show because they went to church first. Of first course. of all, they didn't come to the Sunday show. They they came to the benediction of the Sunday show. My family was prayer. so late. They missed all angel. And let me tell you what my grandma said. My dad made them I, late. I love my it. grandma, we went to dinner after. My grandma said, I just wanted to see Angel on the program. Yeah, she said, I wanted to see your part of the program, Angel. I said, Well, in Riley, you gonna see my part of the program. You gonna see it. You gonna see it. They came in. This was what the blessing was. They uh Kevin had his dad hit me up because I guess Kevin already knew in his spirit how late they were. Oh yeah. Be. I said I, I gave my dad, I said, Dad, <laughs> here's Angel's number because you're more than likely gonna come when I go on stage. Oh yeah. Which is more than an you know, forty five minutes into the show. Oh. Uh and you're not and they're gonna call me and show lo and behold, my phone buzzing when I'm on the stage. <laughs> yes. and I, when I checked it after the show, it was my dad calling. Oh, absolutely. He texted me. I was like, Okay. He said he texted me, you're on stage. And he was like, all right, you've been on stage. We got 15 minutes before we get there. And I said, who? He said, we'll catch about 20 minutes, right? I said, mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, trying to figure out how I'm going to get up. Then he said, is there an elevator? Mobility issues. I was like, who? The my mom is legally blind. She cannot see. Donna Goodall shouts out Port Arthur, Texas. Hold it down. Hold, hold it down. down. <laughs> the elevator is literally blocked by audience members mm. who have seats and i was like okay all right because there's like there's no like oh we can fake it it's three flights of steps to get up to the club it if is. not so i was like i told the club people i said if you could just scoot those tables out i'm about to bring his family up she was like of course she did nothing <laughs> that elevator door opened and i'm looking at the back of people's heads <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> I was like, this is great. And even they were moving so slow. It was like 
that your your dad and your mom when I was waiting for them to get out the car it was like I was like are they moonwalking in place because Why? they're not they are stationary like they're on a stationary bike they like they're on a peloton peloton <laughs> workouts <laughs> peloton is our sponsor for today's episode let me tell you peloton is the shh y'all ain't gonna say the word because this is a Christian That's podcast right. but it's uh, a fantastic workout machine sh- energy yes. oh i love mine i love my bike it's so good you get such a great like workout experience all from the comfort of your home mm-hmm. and everything being on the road you knew, realize everything's better at home yes but i love it when the hotels we stay at have pelotons too yes, yes. because i matter of fact the first time i saw one in use was when we were in boston you were using one uh uh-huh, i used one there and i saw how how intense of a workout you got in 30 minutes because a lot of time we don't have a lot of time we don't have a lot of time especially when we're shooting the food show like this weekend we're doing mm-hmm. uh, and today and when i have podcast shoot days i don't have an hour and a half to work out yeah i have 30 minutes yeah and a peloton let me tell you what 30 minutes on that on that peloton yeah that's that's the equivalent of me working out for an hour and a half mm-hmm. or driving to the gym and all that time like i literally go downstairs hop on my bike tapping with my instructor Last time I did, I did an 80s workout. Ooh, was, sometimes you the music be so good, you forget you're working out because you know. like the song so much. That's what helps. That's what I like about it is what makes it different from an like gym workout or an in-gym class is that a lot of times when I used to try to take classes at a, a gym, the music would piss me off yeah, so bad. I'd yeah. be like, what is this? They, they choose anything. On they the, on the just like anything that fits the like BPM of what they're trying yeah. to go. Where with Peloton, you could pick classes based off of the music that they're going to play, which is like clutch because I'm very much so trap music. Waka Flocka gets me where I need to go. <laughs> All right. And it's not going to be, I can't do no Pat Benatar. I need something with a booming beat. And so I get that at home with a Peloton. Now, whatever your mood, overall fitness goal, you can mix and match classes for a total body workout, choose from cardio, strength, yoga, Pilates, outdoor runs, meditation, and more. And uh, whether you're in the mood for some hip hop, which I always am, pop or country, the Peloton bike has the right music to keep you entertained and motivated all year long. When you purchase the Peloton bike, you get access to live classes and thousands of on-demand uh, plus access to the app to get you moving anytime, anywhere with a boot camp between nap times or a ride before brunch. You can seamlessly fit Peloton into your life. Mm-hmm. So this is what we want you to do with Pel- with the Peloton bike. There's nothing like working out from home. Learn more at onepeloton.com. New members can try Peloton classes for free for 30 days at onepeloton.com slash app. app. Ter- terms apply. That's O N E P E L O T O N dot com. Now, y'all already know. I like to know things. I like to be good at things. Like uh like Shakari. If I was out there on the track, I would have taken a class. And maybe I would have taken that class on Skillshare if they had it. Don't know if they do, but I can tell you some classes they do have that I've taken. Took a uh, class on how to grow indoor plants because I'd be killing my plants. Mm, I'm an do. assassin. You do. Uh, I took a class on um, finding my creative voice. I also took a class on TikTok for everyone on how to be a better storyteller on TikTok. There are so many different classes in this creative community that Skillshare has put together. And what is great about it is that you can explore your curiosities just from your home. And the premium membership is less than $10 a month. That's true, Angel. It is true. And let me tell you, it you really can't... Um, beat education you really can't beat getting a chance to experience the things that you've always wanted to experience you can't beat it and being able to add more crafts and skills to your resume is always a good thing um and um i love taking and looking and seeing some of the classes that they offer every month because sometimes i don't even know that uh, learning this it's possible until I go on Skillshare and I see some of their top classes I'm like what what classes Angel they got I mean they got so many classes on like uh, creative design which is really great especially being somebody who's always trying to promote things and I want things to look aesthetically pretty mm-hmm. but then they also have other things that have to do with meditation and centering yourself like it's a gambit of stuff that you would not realize are often on Skillshare until you get the membership and find out listen I took a specific class okay because I want to be josh mm-hmm. i want to take cool pictures mm-hmm. like my friend mm-hmm. 
So I started by taking fundamentals of DSLR photography with Justin Bridges. And I learned how to understand the camera first, which was my big mistake. I just turned it on and click. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand exposure, depth of field, all that type of stuff. Yeah. Balancing the exposure triangle, preparing to shoot, shutter speed. Like Justin taught me this stuff. Listen. And you can see it in my reels. You can see the difference in my reels, the quality of my reels, because I'm a I'm a low-key photographer at heart. You are sir. and Skillshare, especially fundamentals of DSLR photography, have helped me be that. Yes, Skillshare is also has also has incredible affordable, um, incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in person person classes or workshops. So this is what we want you to do: explore your creativity at Skillshare.com slash sk sk and get a one month free trial of premium membership. That's one month of premium membership at Skillshare.com slash sk sk. So my family walks in, please, and. Unfortunately, they don't hear the beginning of my set. My only hope was that for the first time in their life, they'd be early. Mm -mm. <laughs> you know, didn't no. happen. No, they weren't. Because I wanted there. to build up to the part that was going to be hard to hear no. for them. You know, my grandma. As soon as they got their butts comfortable in that seat, you were like, dick and coochie and coochie and dick and boom, bop, 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 in it, in it, in it. What, making macaroni. What, 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 what. The yep. only good thing about it is they were so far and in the corner, I couldn't tell if they were laughing or not. Mm. I could see my aunt laughing, and I was like, Angel, are they laughing? And she was like, no. Nope, they are not. <laughs> they are not laughing. There are no, I am laughing at them not laughing. That is what I'm literally laughing at right now. <laughs> they were, your mother was literally doing this. <laughs> yeah. And a couple of times, your dad would join her in unison. With the head nod. Oh! Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they've come to a lot of shows. But they've all, the last two years, uh, well, three if you include the 2020, all cleaner. Actually, they didn't come to Slightly Problematic Take Two. Mm -hmm. They've come to a lot of Playmaker shows and the first two real comedians where I was in churches, in churches most of the time. Uh -huh. And when I was starting comedy, they never came to like Nate Jackson's room or Tibbs and none of that stuff. They had already left from Washington. So the, the stand-up comedy that I developed for real, for real, they had never seen. So they didn't watch Keep Your Distance, you don't think? No. No. No, they didn't watch Keep Your Distance. Oh, no. All that cussing? Absolutely no, not. they didn't watch. They, they are saved. My dad, now that he has your number, you're going to get a daughter, full scripture, <laughs> and, a, and a heart message. Once he has your number, oh, he's just added you to his collection of kids. That's fine. That's where I get that daughter from. He mm. goes, you know, angel, you are God's angel. Dude, that Let me just share a scripture with you today. People don't know this. Kevin always says something to me when I bring him up on stage. If you come to see us, <laughs> uh, every time I bring up someone, whether it be to here or if we have a guest, I hug them or I shake their hand. So me and Kevin, we do a hug and he always says something. And he all, usually says, God bless you, daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder I where that. that's from. I'm like, Pastor, what? I get that from my dad. Speaking of stealing things from your parents, my son. Huh. Huh. Mm. I pick him and his homegirl up from school the other week. They mm. are going to Hamilton. This uh -huh. is their birthday present from my son's homegirl's mom. Where are they going to see it? At Pantages. They already saw they it. Already saw it. Oh. They saw it last week. Oh, my. they saw my friend perform. I missed it. Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. and I wanted to take my kids, but. The pandemic. Mm -hmm. So I pick him and his homegirl up and I do this thing. Like if my kids are laughing, right, at a video or something and I come in the room and they're laughing, I'll just be like, <laughs> that was funny, huh? Right. Neither of them ever laugh at it. They usually close their phone or be like, ah, father. Ah, cringe, right? cringe, cringe. Cringe, cringe, cringe. I've been doing this for years mm -hmm. to them. So pick my homegirl, my son and his homegirl up in the car. And they're laughing at a video. So I said, <laughs> right, guys, she goes, Zay, that's where you get that from. So I turn around. I'm like, <laughs> you been using my stuff? And he goes, mm-hmm. And I'm like, does it work? He was like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, you little hack. Yeah. Joke thief. Stealing. Sitting up here. Let me bomb at home for years. Yes. Take my should. material. Mm -hmm. To school, mm -hmm. use it, let it work, yeah, and then don't even tell me about it. I gotta find out from your friends that I'm killing or you're killing with my material. It's mm -hmm. cool. 
you may have a better career as a writer. Maybe. <laughs> it made me feel so happy that I my legacy lives on even now. And that your kids they'll act. Oh, they'll act like you're not cool. Oh yeah. Oh, they'll act like it's not funny. But then they'll go to school and and use your material. Oh, absolutely. I just you mm, you yeah. little you little such and such. But anyway, so after my stand up comedy, uh, we go to dinner mm-hmm. and uh, uh, <laughs> there are some parts that I'll, I'll reserve for of Patreon. Course. Okay, uh, Patreon, remind me to tell you the full story. I will not put that part. You publicly. bet not. But when we talk about our bonus this week, y'all make a mental note to tell the full story. Yes. But the other part of the story that was good is we go to Ruth's Chris. And my grandmother's name is Ruth. And she said, well, I've never been to Ruth's Chris. And she leans over to me. She's like, we can get anything we want. And I say, yeah. <laughs> she goes, steak, shrimp, lobster. <laughs> she gave me this trio. Man, they got them. steak, shrimp, lobster trio. Yes, she wanted uh, all of it. My mom got a steak well done. I was embarrassed. <laughs> and they, if you ask for steak well Man, done, they will was, burn it. That was a piece yeah. of burnt rubber. I mean, they will burn it. it I think tire. they do it to, to prove a point. Mm-hmm. Like, And they burnt her steak. Too. It, was, it was unrecognizable. It was also the so first time my grandma heard, heard me say nigga or my parents ever ever oh man first time they heard me no, talk about they've heard it they watch the podcast they don't they don't watch this no. podcast then how did I, how did grandma Ruthie know when you were talking about her because my uncle watches oh, and okay. he'll tell her oh okay. but she don't watch okay got she it. don't watch get it go and ahead. my mom they don't watch trust me I'd hear a lot more if they actually watched. So first time I said nigga on stage that they heard, first time I talked about sex, like for real. Like I joke around, but I mean, I'm, you know, you, you've seen the show. Uh, yeah, I've seen it. So when I get to the uh, restaurant, I'm asking my grandma, like, you know, <laughs> is everything okay? And she said, you know what, Kevin? I just thought this is just like Planet Fitness. When I go to the gym, it's a no judgment zone. We're all trying to get better. You are at your show. It's a no judgment zone. <laughs> and I was like, that's kind of worse. Your dad looked at me during the show. He said, Y'all done had him all this time and didn't fix him. <laughs> they had me longer. Oh, that's what I said. I said, no, we took him how we got him. <laughs> that's what we did. Uh, yeah. Kevin at, oh my goodness. It was me and Kevin and Josh. Our friendship only got deepened because we were just like, it was like Kevin didn't want us to meet oh, his family. We were pride. You we were just making the big deal about no, it. No, and now I mean, hey, there grandma. wasn't a dinner grandma. until the morning of. Right, huh? you there wasn't a dinner until you like didn't the want to plan a dinner. We before. were we were like, can we can we go dinner? Uh, uh, eh. And I wanted to get his mom and dad, uh, his dad, excuse me, his mom, grandma, and his aunt a gift. And Kevin was like, why? No, don't do that. Uh. And then what happens? His mother brings me a gift. <laughs> I, that was a surprise. She's never done that before. <laughs> She hasn't. She uh, really has never, never done that. She's seen anybody. Tony Tahir and well, the, uh, Josh. Not I don't know Tony how many Tahir times. Or Josh. I don't know what it is about Angel. She I felt said, differently. And your dad was like, "Yeah, you should have went ahead and went with your Southern hospitality spirit." I said, "That's all right. I'm gonna see y'all again." <laughs> they gonna come to the Raleigh show. Mm, uh, I'm was, gonna have them Jesus scarves ready. <laughs> then, then I'm gonna Jesus scarves and maybe some candles or something, and maybe a devotion. You can even get like their name embroidered. Listen, That'd Josh. Nice. My grandma would love that, even though she has so many embroidered loincloths. And once you told me, like, oh, they're save, save, I was like, oh, I know what to get. Like, yeah. it, even though my family be ratchet, we be save, save sometimes. Yeah, be save, save sometimes. It was interesting to back to back Baltimore, seeing your family and your sister twerking during the show, and seeing my family be like, we lost him. He got a, <laughs> he got a reprobated mind. That was the first time I've drank in front of my grandma. I was the fact that you the the way you were so like. Hemming and hawing about you, your set in front of them. I just knew. I was like, Kevin about to be on water and being all I went harder. Fake. Yeah, you did. I was like, y'all going to get, y'all going to, listen, y'all going to see it. You're going to see how I, you know what I'm saying, bless y'all all the time. It's these jokes. <laughs> I had some wine. I had a cocktail. Luckily, my aunt was there, and she's the more ratchet of the family. Oh, I could already tell. And she broke the ice. She was like, Ruthie, you ain't going to get no vodka? I'll get some. And I was like, whew. She ordered wine, and I was like, I can do it, too. I'm big now. Yeah, big boy. My parents do not drink. Mm, I remember my mother was like it. Really? Yes. My mother was holier than holier than holier. And I think once I broke the the seal, and I was just like, well, I'm going to be drinking. (laughs) And I'm going to be cussing on stage. It was just like, well. I remember when Melissa's mom, she used to not drink either. I remember one time we went to her house, and she had uh, basically fake wine. 
Huh? It was like wine, but it was not fermented. Uh, yes. And Never. I was like, I mean, at this point, <laughs> that's, that's it's really, it's literally, that's but it comes smell. in like a real bottle. Not even like, but it's, it's like, you know, it's like wine for Christians, it's not fermented. Yeah. It's not, and you know, it's blessed. And I was like, and then she had a TI CD in her back. Uh, <laughs> she had a rubber band man or whatever CD that, that was. Oh, yeah. She was like, I just like that song. Rubber band man. So wow, the next band. time we went to her house, it was they, real wine. Uh, it was sake. It was. It was a whole bunch of like, stuff. She was like, you know what? I'm okay with this. I'm all Listen, right. Listen, man, I was ner- I was like, my grandma. I'm, I'm a man now. Okay. I mean, you were like a worm that had just had salt poured on it. <laughs> he was just. I mean, Kevin. First of all, looked like a pouting child. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know why though. I, I'm gonna tell y'all why. Oh gosh, I will tell y'all to be why. Pointed out even right now. Huh? But I said it didn't even need to be pointed mm. out of why. But yeah, he just looked like a a boy. I was like, <laughs> what in the world is going on? I think I just broke broke out of that. I I don't know. Sometime in my twenties, I was just like, I'm too old for this. Yeah. Too old. Too old. Moving on. Ruthie's hilarious, by the way. Who? Oh. oh man! Oh oh yeah, we gotta talk about no, Rip. Yeah, before not, we move I, on, one more, one more quick on. story. Yeah, the rest will say for I, as a bonus. As for the bonus, okay, because I got to definitely tell the thing about your mom. But yeah, <laughs> uh, Ruthie said a couple of things. Grandma Ruthie, excuse me, Miss Ruthie, Mrs. Fredericks said a couple of things that were funny. To hear prayed over the bread because Kevin's mama was like, "I ain't eating this bread until we pray." <laughs> to hear starts praying. Grandma Ruthie, after the end of the prayer, said, well, thank God I prayed over my food. <laughs> Josh thought that was the I funniest was thing ever. It was hilarious. She said it, like, loudly under her breath. That's yes. her shade. I love it. It's loud I enough. Love, I love a grandma shade. It's untouched. And the yes. thing about it is, it was me, Ruthie, Andy to hear. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't like she said it to where he oh, couldn't no, hear. No, no, no. We all heard the whole table. <laughs> and I know you're her grandson because at the same time, you didn't even hear her say that because what did you say as soon as I, he finished I'd praying? say that pair didn't even hit the ceiling. Yes. <laughs> it got stuck under this lamp. That thing, ain't, it showed didn't reach heaven. That thing is stuck under this light <laughs> oh. fixture. It ain't going to break through. Oh, oh, it was a good time. <laughs> it was a good time. I, I want to write a character. On, like Church Shade, that's how... <laughs> that shady thing that's her and it'd be it'd be about religion it'd be about Ooh, people geez. she you know um my dad and mom been married 25 26 years something like that mm-hmm. and she should be like mm, Derek's still here huh ma'am he is coming to take you to church i love where it. do you think he's gonna go randomly now after all these years oh y'all still married huh mm-hmm. Mm. I love it. Well, let's go. Why are you speaking to the man who is picking you up and telling you this? That is what age should grant you to not have to oh, keep Jesus. filtering all your thoughts. <laughs> oh, well, it go from thought to, <laughs> to mouth. synapse Boom. fire to in the world. <laughs> yes. Nobody's going to stop it. What you finna do? Oh, I'm I 73. I love it. I love it. I done raised two whole sets of children. I'm going to say what I want. I'm gonna, that's why I, I told her. I was like, you you soft now. <laughs> she like that. Listen, she told me straight up. She said, "I raised my kids. <laughs> I raised my kids' kids. I wasn't gonna raise no third set." Because they say JoJo, she never whooped. Mm. She was just like, oh, "I'll just." I think I said something like, uh, "Ruth is gonna pop you." Kept she's like, "I ain't popping nobody no more." <laughs> she <laughs> just decided. Like- I think when her first grandchild was great grand was born. She was like, I'm out. It's a lot of work to I'm be not, whooping she's kids. She's like, I'm not finna. You can't yeah. do it three times. Huh? You can't do it three times. You can't do times. it three times. Come on, mm. man. She was raising a whole new set of kids at 35. Your shoulder does not have the cartilage for that. She's like, dog, I'm not finna beat y'all's kids, kids, kids. No, I'm done it's whooping. A, it's a lot of work. Uh, she said she did pop my uh, sister's son, though. Uh, yes. She was like, he's just bad. <laughs> she said he's a monster. <laughs> he's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> she said he is a monster. Your aunt was like, this is what the pop looked like, felt like. <laughs> now, she had plenty of energy for us. Oh yeah, she loved me more than anybody in my life. D- you deserved all of it. What you all I deserved? <laughs> it. All I did was read the Bible. Mm-hmm. That big old Bible on top of the TV. Mm-hmm. I said, this, "I love these scriptures." Yeah, I can tell you They're were bad. Feet. You were what? bad. But you know what ain't bad is Green Chef. Mm-hmm. Show sure ain't okay because Green Chef is the first USDA certified organic meal kit company. Green Chef makes eating well easy and affordable with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're oh, keto, yeah. paleo. Vegan, vegetarian, or just looking to eat healthier. There's a range of recipes to suit any diet or preference. Now, 
This is the thing about Green Chef. What is it, Angel? You're going to get healthy and it's going to taste good. Sure is. And that is what I like the most about it. It's because you don't have to, like with some other meal kits, you have to kind of really try to narrow it down to the things that you feel like are healthy to eat. Where Green Chef is like, everything you get from us is going to be organic. So it's already going to be better for you. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. we already are going to be able to have stuff that suit whatever diet you are following. So that makes it perfect. And you're not having to like nitpick green chef is like we're gonna make it easy for you choose mm-hmm. from 30 easy to follow recipes every week with options like i said from keto paleo plant flower diets as well as meals to help you eat in a more balanced way green chef expert chefs mm. design flavorful meals that go way beyond ordinary no matter what is on your menu green chef is the most suitable meal excuse me sustainable meal kit so you can feel great about what you're eating and how it got to your table it's actually the only meal kit that's both plastic and carbon offset. Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh. Yeah. And with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. And what's great is that I love especially being able to switch between both brands. And now our listeners can enjoy both brands at a discount on us. So this is what we want you to do. Go to greenchef.com slash SK100. SK100. And use code SK100. SK100. To get $100 off, including free shipping. Again, go to greenchef.com slash SK100. SK100. And use code SK100. SK100. To get $100 off, including free shipping. The number one meal kit for eating well, all right. Uh, moving on. Moving, moving on. on. Uh, this is kind of weird. An Alabama man mm-hmm. thought he'd been shot by an intruder. Mm. <laughs> oh, it turned boy. out mm. it was his wife's boyfriend secretly living in their house. What <laughs> in the? H E double hockey sticks is going on. He was in like an attic area. There was bottles of urine he had been pissing in. That's what I heard. Food, old food that she'd been giving him. The wife called the husband and said, There's somebody in the house. He come home, pull his gun out. The dude already has his gun. Wait, 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 wait. Mm-hmm. She called. That's the part of the story I didn't realize. She called the husband. Why? And said, I don't Maybe he, I don't know. Maybe I he, know she was drunk when they, when all this went down, but I didn't know she, I thought she arrived with her husband. No, she called. She called the husband and said, somebody's in the house. And he comes home, pulls his pistol out. Dude pulls his pistol out. The boyfriend shoots the husband. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, they talk about men being trash a lot. Oh no! When okay. can be trash. This is a new level of trash, trashiosity. Now, how good do the D got to be that you're like, I am going to allow you not only to be homeless, but then to live with me in the most disgusting form of fashion, which is pissing in my attic. <laughs> like he has got to have a stroke that is unbelievable. <laughs> How do you, I just so don't understand. He must have been able to do the milk crate challenge on the first try. She was like, listen, you bring the milk crates up to my attic. Hmm. Into the stroke of it. Right, exactly. (laughs) How? Uh, That is just. Dancing through the kutch. The one and only push. Listen, that's. uh... That's why my grandma don't listen to the podcast. Nah, she should. There's a lot of fears I have, a lot of insecurities I have about marriage and being on the road and all the time. You do? Oh, yeah. I'd be like, what if I come home and somebody makes sweet love to my wife? I never think Melissa will put a man and put him up. First of all, our attic is too small to be in. (laughs) These got to be old houses. L.A. houses, they're too new. No basements, no attics. Right. No protected left greens. There's just not enough protected greens in L.A. I, I need more protection. Mm-hmm. Anyway, mm-hmm. but I would never imagine that I'd be getting shot by a man that is my wife's uh, boyfriend who's living in my house. Mm-hmm. That would be a surprise to me. No, no. That would be to get shot in my house. OK, somebody came in to rob me. But him go back to his room and be like, no. <laughs> oh, my bad. Uh, just want to let you know the AC's out. E, e. Have Love you the seen home. Uh, Parasite? Uh, it's not all of it. But yeah, how they just take over that home. You need a Why'd you stop? 
I think I fell asleep. You gotta wake up, Angel. That is one Parasite of that is, is like top five movies. It just ever. gets better. In, it starts as a comedy. It ends as a horror film. I nice if I fell asleep before the horror. Oh, you missed the best part. I literally missed the entire second film. Don't Angel, shame, don't shame me. I'll Nobody's watch shaming. I just you fall asleep is, on everything. So I, I don't watched that me. movie three times in the theater. Did you really? Yes. Wow. Yes. I didn't I that loved that. I don't that think there's any film. movie I've seen three. Or actually, I've seen Losing Isaiah a lot of times and Dumb and Dumber. Did you find them? Didn't find them. And Children of the Corn. This one summer I stayed in Atlanta with my family and they just kept dropping us off at the movies every day. Life with Mikey I saw multiple times. What's that about? Oh, my God. Michael J. Fox is a talent manager in New York. And uh, the girl, you know, Tyena. No. You don't know Tyena? The show on Nickelodeon, God dang, you, we just don't have a. There's no common no connection ground. here. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> he helps this young girl become a star in New York, and it was just like, why'd you see it in theater so many times? Because it was like a dream come true. I was like, yes, I want to go to New York, have a talent manager, make me a star. And at the end, the girl saying, "Come see, people know it. Come on along and listen to." Hey, the lullaby of Broadway. This little black girl sang her face off at the end. He discovered wow. her at the end. It's great. Anyway, saw it several times as, along with Sister Act 2. Sister Act 2, I didn't see in theaters. We didn't see a lot of movies in theaters in the early 90s. We were very poor. But on VHS, I watched Sister Act 2 probably 8,000 times. Yeah. I might be able to quote every single line in that movie. Mm verbatim that major pain when i saw major pain i was like it just doesn't get better than this this is as funny as things can be yeah this it may damon and he was like you know what i do often mm -hmm. i look at people i think everybody's older than they really are major pain i mean damon Williams was like 35 when he did major pain oh absolutely everybody is a gajillion years old to me like the fact that we're older than the people on friends when they were on friends yeah, I, they might as well have been 60 in my head. When we were kids, Martin and Gina, they were like 23. Oh, my gosh. They were like 23 yeah. on a sitcom. I literally could be their teenage mom. Ma Ma Brandy, she was like two years older than me. And I felt like she was 28. <laughs> I saw Brandy at Universal Studios and she has a kid my age, my son's age. Yeah. I was like, girl, you ain't. But she was two years older than me and Moesha. But the fact that she was on TV, that give you 10. Oh, absolutely. All the kids on all that, all that, you're on TV. You got to be older. I thought they were playing down. Kid and Kel were literally three years older than me. Yeah, no, really, truly. That's the reason why I'd be like. No, this is not right. I am still younger than the people that I watch. And it's like, no, man. One of the things that breaks my heart to this day, mm -hmm. there is only one NBA player older than me right now. Udonis Haslam. At least you got a one. That's it. I am watching people that I watched come out of college. <laughs> okay. I watched their whole career. Yeah. They finished. They are retired. Not only with that, they are coaches. Yeah. Calvin Johnson. I remember when he came out of co a college at Georgia Tech. Ah. He just went into the Hall of Fame, oh, which no. can only happen five years after, after? you stop playing. I said, whoo. <sighs> I can't even get mad at NBA players now. They're 20. They're children. Oh, no. The NBA players right now, some of them are only four years older than my son. NBA players were born in the year 2000. <laughs> 2001, Mason Greenwood, he plays Premier League soccer. Uh -huh. He's, you know, plays on Manchester United. Uh -huh. Born in 2001. How are you a professional man? They are professionals. Let me, let me hurt your soul. No. Let me hurt your soul. Don't, Angel. It's going to hurt my soul more my than soul hurt yours. My it's, soul it's weak. <laughs> let me tell you, based off of... Oh, this is going to hurt my heart. Are you ready? No, oh. let's just end the episode. It's going to hurt my heart. Based off of the way they did the Cosby show, in season five, Felicia Rashad's character, Claire Huxtable, Huxtable celebrated her 46th birthday. That means her character was the same age as me at the pilot. 41. I am the age of Claire Huxtable. In season one of the Cosby show? In season one of the Cosby show. 
I just I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> just before I, I want throw you to up, understand. I was watching. I started The Sopranos over again just because I love it. Mm -hmm. and it's been long enough that I've forgotten it again. James Gandolfini in season one of The Sopranos was 38 years old. Nah. I am 38. You're 38. He was bald and he was. <laughs> <laughs> You're bald. In high school, he had a junior. And I said, Tony Soprano's 55. Right. James Gandolfini was 38. Oh. 38. That's you. That's you. <laughs> I, saw, I posted this thing on my Instagram. Uh, oh. 1980 and 2021 are the same distance apart as 1980 and 1939. I saw that and I said, no. And you were born in 1980. I know. So you know you can do all the math good on that. I don't agree. <laughs> I don't 1939 agree. 1939 to 1980 is the same distance between 1980 and 2021. Melissa put on there, I understand addition, but somehow this doesn't add up. It People doesn't. were trying to do the math for her. She said, I I under I said I understand addition. The, it's the it's the invisible exponents that we're not <laughs> taking. And so it exponentially grows bigger on the reverse end. I feel like it's the the growth of technology is what makes it feel like it's more. Yeah. Because what technology did from 80 to 2021 and from 39 to 80, huge. Yes. But the big thing there is the invention of the computer. The, the computer is what was just. I, yeah. <laughs> it, is it, what did it do? <laughs> ah, exactly. I thought that you did it differently. Because remember what yes. the computer was when we first started? Remember White Dot? Yeah, DOS. MS DOS? Yes. <laughs> Oregon Trail? Oregon Trail was a game that you had to read mostly. Yes, and you People watched just your kept dying. You, you know, watched your go out and hunt. You didn't get to shoot good. They just, you caught three squirrels. I want to shoot them. No, Man, we I don't have it. the technology I for that. I love having it go across the river and see if whether or not my oxen were about to die in that water. I'd be like, is you going to make it? Oh, you lost two of your ox. Pinball. Your your children died of dysentery. <laughs> oh, dysentery. <laughs> Listen, I saw a funny TikTok the other day that was like, it was like 1909 or 1859. A man walks into the doctor's office. He's like, what's wrong? I got diarrhea. He was like, well, you're dead. <laughs> He's like, what? He was like, we really got nothing for diarrhea. You get diarrhea, man. It's, it's over for you. He's like, can you try anything? He's like, no. Nah. You got diarrhea, bro. You're going to die. Yeah. And that is, it's diarrhea. It ain't liveria. No. You understand? And that's so wild that diarrhea was dysentery ain't nothing but like super advanced diarrhea. Yeah. And that you got a stomach. I mean, Pepto Bismol yeah. came on the scene and saved lives. Yeah. Can you imagine getting diarrhea in 1809. You're like, I'm finna just be dead of right, this. Right, right. You finna doo-doo to you ain't got no fluids left. <laughs> it's never gonna stop. It's never gonna stop. You just finna wake up dead. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's times have definitely changed, but yeah, uh, 1939 uh, to 1980 is not, nope. Who Nin was nope. born? I'm not believing star it. star was born in 1939? Dead ones. They alive, Angel. Somebody some might of be them. alive. Some of them could be alive. I'm they a, take their vitamins. I'm going to name off some people who were born in 1939. Ian McKellen. Woo, mm. he's old. Francis Ford Coppola. He's still alive. Harvey Keitel still alive. Ooh, really? Doggy. There's a lot of people who who done passed. So these on. are people that would be like 83, mm -hmm. 80, 82. No, I know Felicia Rashad was a younger. I'm talking about the character was 41. Oh, that that how old was Felicia Rashad at the time? She was in her 30s. Oh yeah, Betty White. Mm, how old is she? Though? Betty White. Apparently, I read this 90s. on the internet. I don't know if it's true or not. Betty White was born before sliced bread. I can believe it. The phrase, the best thing since sliced bread was really when sliced bread used to, like it came out. Yeah, but sliced bread is the gym jam. <laughs> it's the gym jam. Sliced bread was invented in 1928. Betty White was born. Wow. 
Shut up, Marcus. He said Betty White was born in 1700s. <laughs> Betty 1922? White literally the best thing since life. The fact that sliced bread came out and people was like, let me tell you what I got. Yeah. Now, I know you used to just loaves. You understand me? Let me tell you what. I'm going to save you some time. I didn't cut it up already. Look what at you it. call this? <laughs> I call it sliced bread. What, what year is this? 1928? To the future. Listen. Like I often think about people, every part of time, mm -hmm. technology was as advanced as it had ever been. Yeah. When people were riding a train and we're like, we're going to be in LA in five days. <laughs> That was as they was like people ain't never done stuff like yeah. we really couldn't even do this. Yeah, that is wild to me that somebody hopped on a train and was like, in seven days we're gonna be down in Oregon. You remember they were laying the train uh, tracks as the train was coming. <laughs> that's that's just the pity of it. They're like the train gonna be here in ten days. We need <laughs> some more tracks now. We gotta finish. This. We gotta finish it, or it's gonna have to stop. Wild. Well. Yeah, guys. Love you guys. Houston this weekend. Sunday shows only. Palm Beach and Miami. Next year, if I come to Florida, it will likely only be Orlando. Mm -hmm. Or Jacksonville. No. You're not going to do Jacksonville? Historically, I've done the best in Orlando. Second best in Tampa. Poor in Palm Beach always. Have you ever done Jacksonville? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, a few so times. Not, not great in Jacksonville. Okay. It, Even worse like in Miami. So many of them at the Orlando show. Yeah, they're going to have to, y'all going to have to drive. All six of them can drive. Orlando. Dude, it was way more than six. That dude, they were in there. Duval. Northern Florida, I still have love for because they have love for me. Southern Florida, I will see you on my way to the Dominican Republic. Uh, or if I'm going on a cruise, which I don't <laughs> plan on going on a cruise anytime soon. Anytime Orlando, soon. Tampa, one of you two. Yeah. Probably not both anymore. One of you two. One of uh, them. The rest of you, I'm sorry. And it's not personal. You know, it's just it's a business decision. Anyway, God bless you. God keep you. John, I'm going to say this real quick. All entertainers skip Louisiana. Didn't do well. Mm -mm. We've been in New Orleans. Been in New Orleans. Didn't do well. Mm -hmm. It's it's not personal. You just you got to make a decision. If people don't buy the tickets. I don't. I don't come. Apparently, y'all got too many things to do in Louisiana. Louisiana and Las Vegas too entertaining. Y'all got too much. Y'all got too many options. Too many options. We'll tell the story on the next bonus episode. It's too long to tell right now because we got to do the love hour. God bless you. God keep you. We'll see you at the conference. Goody. What's that one you sent me, Josh, from Maverick City? The uh, Which one? The Dante. Sending each other works for music. Oh, my God. Which which one? The Blood? It's off a new album. Oh, no. That's a different one. I think it's this one. Y'all really be sending each other works for music? I'll be crying. Josh put me on Maverick every City. Every morning. I'm Actually, surprised, Josh put me on a I'm lot surprised I can drive so safely. Oh, Joshua. No, it can't be this. I could one, never do a morning commute with you. What is the one <laughs> off the new album, Josh? A, Kev, they've been dropping one every two weeks. I don't. Hold on. I'll no, find it's it. not this one. Joshua! If you yell at me. <laughs> one more time. It's the Old Church Basement album. It is the Old Church Basement album? Is that yeah. Ah, uh, wait on you, Joshy. Oh, my God. The reprise on that one. The second... Oh, yes, you can, Josh. I can't do it right now. Yeah, you can. I can't do it right now. It's going to be this song. No, it's going to break This it dude's down. voice is, like, so perfect for this song. Play the, play the reprise, though. Okay. But I got to get into the... Okay, well, this is going to be 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't in very depth. He seemed like he chopped wood. He was chopping wood when he was recording. Me. First of all, these niggas be geared up. Bro, they got bread. <laughs> Listen, from they the first a... video to now, everybody's an off-white. Bro, he got a Burberry cardigan oh on. Oh, my God. I don't worship the Lord in spirit and in style. In <laughs> <laughs> they're shooting in a church. There is no yeah, location yeah. fee for this, Kev. It's, yeah. Said, I'm going to wait on you. Don't put that in the episode, Josh. I don't want, I don't, I'm just playing. No, we don't need that. No, we definitely don't need that. Type of I trust message. in your goodness. I trust in your promise. This is new gospel. Well, CCM. No, it's, I'm saying, is this the type of music you will listen to after you finish sending? Is that what you're saying? No. Oh. 
This, this Josh put me onto this. No. Trust in your promise. I'm gonna wait on you. The, the ghost yelling. <laughs> this is the type of music they like to sing in my church. Little Marcus is coming with you some some Thursday. I'm about to buy his tickets and everything. Trust in your promise. I'm going to wait on you. Why don't they let me in the middle, man? You, should, you can do it. I need it. I'm going to pull up to any. I will let you know when the next recording I'm telling is. Chandler, but I don't want to be in the group. No, you could be in it. I want to be in the middle. I'm going. I'm a middle type. like Right. Middle child. Everything. I'm a middle child. If I'm there, I need to be. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We can go to the next recording. Oh! If your schedule permits, we can go. You want to know the the song that made me cry the most? What song? This is this, this, this is my Lord. this is the song I would I would listen to after I did. But sing. the breakdowns come in. Okay, I forgot, Josh. It's I'm okay, sorry. that's why I said to go to the replies. I know you did. I, I didn't listen to you. <laughs> sing it, sing. You want to talk about punishing yourself? No. Every way. time I would have sex, because how many times do I go get oh, your will? And then what do I do, Angel? What do I do? Yeah, I, am still I turn around and do what? I turn around and do the I used to be crying like I just ain't gonna do right. The things I shouldn't do. Cause I belong to you. And I know you will come through. Here we go. Lord, I know I took advantage of your grace And in this Christian race But yet I still hear you calling my name Help me! <laughs> That's not the solo. The solo. She's they not in yet. This is Timothy Figueroa. Her son, uh, I think his name is Miles. Miles, yeah. <laughs> the things I shouldn't do. This isn't the album version. I know her verse verbatim. Every thing she sings, the every way she run. every this run. This is a classic. This is the VHS. But the album version, I even know the the crowd. What the crowd says, sing it, Tim. <laughs> Sing it, Tim. Take from me oh. to learn. You're early, Angel. Yes, I am. I am. That is only in your will. I'll never learn. I'll never learn my life's reward. You're gonna do to me. Life eternally. Mm -hmm. voice. But yet I still my name. Many times do I 
go against your will. Andrew, how do you still almost fall off that milk crate? There was just one. Listen. The way it tilted. Oh, yeah. The milk crate said I. I was like, oh, I might bust my ass. This one, by the time they got to this part, I was just like, man, Kevin, do right. But this song is good because every time you do saying, you can just literally go back to how many times. <laughs> but it makes you feel worse. Yeah. <laughs> But yet, oh, but yet I still hear you calling my name. You're calling my to come into you. This is the part where I was just like. Knowing this, but I still choose to go my And then you say, and you still say, you say that I am he, he who supply your every need. She had finger waves. Oh, yeah. oh. The whole thing was finger waving, even the even the pony all the way yes. up. You're calling my to come into the nose was just coming out to be saved. Knowing this, but I still choose to go my way, and you still you still say. You ready, Angel? Uh-huh. All right, here we go. Right, All right. All right. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another one. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another one. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another thing of fire. With my boy Kevin stays, and that chick angel. 